Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about Matomov uh, for Drupal. Uh, so when I talk about Matomov for Drupal, I'm mostly going to explain about the issue that I'm facing, which is the following one, that people using Drupal tend to think that this plugin is the best of the world for Drupal. Probably it will be the case one day, but uh, I have to say I was kind of frustrated to see that Matmo Tag Manager has not been within this given plugin since, uh, I mean, I've not been integrated during a long period of time now that's the case. But though, even if it's still here, it's not, even if it's coming, uh, it's still not uh, facing, I mean, fixing all the, all the difficulties that people are, are having with uh, analytics in general. So, um, let's uh, let's have a look at it so this is what the plugin looks like in order to get a uh, matomo tag manager you probably need to be in drupal 9 if you are in drupal 8 at least and you don't succeed to install it um, this is the basic uh, settings of uh, the matomo plugin so as i said the features which are over here are a bit old uh, so this part is about, let's say, uh, excluding the tracking of some uh, pages. That may be a nice feature in order to exclude the admin page. This part is as well useful in order to not spam uh, your traffic out of it. Uh, so as this, uh, this part as well. This is neat, uh, the track user ID, so it allows you to avoid, uh, to uh, let's say, to uh, uh, deploy this uh, tracking which is kind of hard to implement. Uh, the page title hierarchy may help you as well, so it's going to overwrite the existing page title in order to have, uh, let's say, uh, um, information on, like rich information title. Status code is as well interesting because it helps you track uh, 404. Here about the link and downloads, uh, you have this mail to feature, which can be useful, but as well, we can track personal data. Um, and the search, if your search engine is not pushing any, any parameters. Uh, dealing with the custom uh, variable part, this part is, is kind of obsolete. Uh, dealing with uh, this part, it's not yet much detail about everything that you need to know about GDPR that should be good enough in order for you to get started with. And here dealing with the advanced setting, unfortunately this part is not really useful because you cannot control when uh, the, this part of the code or this part of the code will be fired. So to say, you will need to find a way of mixing the tracking code over here with uh, the tag manager. So to say to use the tag manager more as an extra layer for events and to keep this one as the legacy uh, tracking code on, uh, on your website. And for this, <coughs> um, for this, I mean, if you just want to use the tag manager, you will want to disable the tracking. Uh, if you just want to play with the tag manager, I think it's better to have a mix of the two as I said, you probably want to play with the user ID. Uh, unless I'm bad, uh, I don't think that you can insert here any variable coming from Drupal in order to leverage it. I think that you will have to play with the features which are over here if you want to custom something. Uh, let's go to the tag manager. So the tag manager, you just need when you add a container to just give a name to it and then to copy and paste the URL of the container. Once uh, you have done this, then you can, of course, tailor your um, tag manager according to it. So I'm just going to uh, make a scroll tracking, basic scroll tracking here. So scroll, and we're just going to make an event, and we're just going to just, just scroll. Okay, so nothing crazy here. I just added my, uh, my container, and now I'm just going to uh, scroll down in order to show uh, that the deployment has been made successfully. Okay, so okay, there we go. So now uh, normally the tracking has been deployed. So so far, if I scroll down, as you can see, uh, the scroll is is then fired, and I can now uh, measure it on on my website. And that's that's probably the only thing that you need to know. 
about uh, Matt Wu for Drupal. So the fact that now you have the possibility to use the Tag Manager in order to track uh, things within, uh, within Matomo. You better want to have, like, uh, as I said, like a double mix uh, tracking between the, the one over here and the Tag Manager because you will be uh, somehow dependent from the user ID feature if you want to track uh, what people are doing on Stackrate an account, so as using let's say the um, error status code of, uh, of Matu. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.